Hello, my name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to review your team's forecasts and make adjustments. I'm signed in as a sales manager. I'll start by opening forecasts. The graphs compare the total forecast for my group with the one revenue and open pipeline. This chart shows the percentage of quota attained. Here, I can compare the quota with one revenue. Also, I can manage the next quarter's forecast. Let's take a closer look at my current quarter's forecast. I'd like to see my forecast details. When I click Edit, any subordinate forecasts that weren't submitted by their owners will now be submitted for them. The Territories tab shows my team's forecasts, one revenues, open pipelines, and quotas. I can see at a glance which territory owners submitted their forecasts. When I hover over this arrow, I can see what's changed since I last submitted my forecast. In the Products tab, I can adjust the forecast amounts by both product and time period. When I hover on the Forecast Change arrow, I can compare my current numbers with the previous submission. I can choose different views, like All Totals. Here, I can change the totals for current, best case, and worst case forecasts, as well as the quantity for each product. As a sales manager, I can adjust the forecast for accuracy in two ways. I can edit the totals by product, or I can adjust the opportunities that these totals are calculated from. Let's start with opportunities. These opportunities are in my forecast because they meet the forecasting criteria or were added manually. I'm going to filter the list to show only Martin's opportunities. I think the salesperson underestimated the value of this opportunity. So I'm going to increase both the forecast quantity and amount. I can also add another opportunity or remove an opportunity from the forecast. I'll save my changes. Notice that the forecast totals are recalculated. Also, blue dots appear against the opportunities that I changed. By hovering over the blue dot, I can see the adjustment I made, as well as the unadjusted forecast submitted to me by the salesperson. The salesperson can't see any of the changes I made. Now I'm ready to review and adjust the revised totals by product. I can see the changes I made to the opportunities reflected in the respective product totals. I can deselect exclude rows with zero values to see all products, then enter forecast amounts and quantities for products that have no opportunities associated to them. When my adjustments are complete, I save and submit my forecast to my manager. Thanks for watching. Thank you.